I don't know how guilty I should feel for buying this, but I don't care. I think it's cool. Let's open it up. So this is a really cheap RGB mouse mat that I bought from Amazon. It cost me £16. That's probably about, I don't know, 18 or $20, something like that. It's 800 mil wide by 300 mil tall, which I think is, I think this mouse mat is 400 tall. So it's going to be slightly smaller than this one, I believe. And I was like, you know what? For 16 quid, I'm having a punt at that. I think that's cool. Oops, something fell out. It's a cable. Ugh. There's a couple of variations of this mouse mat available. They're all cloth, which is which is nice. Cloth mouse mats for life. Don't come at me with that plastic rubbish. Um, and the main differences between them seem to be where the control box is. So as you can see, we've got this control box up here. And on some of them, the control box was on the left, some of them was on the right. However, I wanted one where the control box was at the top because I wanted to be out of the way. Because if it's on the left, it's cut for, the, for my desk setup, the left hand side for me doesn't go anywhere. That's just in the way. The right hand side, I think that might get in the way of my mouse sweeps if I sweep too far to the right. Uh, whereas if it's along the top, that can just go straight off the back of the desk for me. So that's fine. This feels really nice. It's a little bit soft. It's, yeah, it's really thick with a really nice, oh, that's nice. I like it. So as you can see from a side comparison here versus my big, huge desk mat I've got here, it's pretty big. That's plenty big enough for use. The... Uh, the actual light up bit is a plastic channel around the edge. So I'm hoping that that has uh, LEDs um, all around it. Let's turn it on and find out. Okay, so it kind of made sense to bring this home to where I'm using this. I'm actually shooting this like a week or two after I unboxed it. I've been living with this thing for about a week now and I really like it. Um, the size of it is perfect for my desk. It's not too big, it's not too small, because the thing is, it's like, uh, I don't like putting my coffee mug and stuff down on my on my mat, because eventually you get you get coffee mug stains and all things like that, and, and other rings, and, and, you know, if I put my dinner plate on there and things like that, it just gets grubby. And that's the main reason why I don't buy a mat that covers my entire desk, because then you just have to clean it all the time. Whereas this is small enough that I've got some nice hard countertop around it for putting down my mug and a plate and things like that. So the size works really well. Uh, and as you can see, you know, the illumination on it, it's not too bad. It's not very bright, but if I turn it off, you can see that, you know, there is a distinct glowing ring around it when it's on, which is pretty rad. And in addition to that, when it's been off for a while and you turn it on, it remembers what setting you left it on and it, it goes through the colors when it turns on, which is also pretty cool. But you have to, it has to be off for a, for a bit of time before it'll do that, so I can't really demonstrate it. If you press the light twice, it goes to a dimmer mode. Um, however, I don't really see why you'd want it to be any dimmer than it is, because full brightness is not particularly bright. You'll notice there's actually a little bit more concentration of light on the edges, and that's just simply where the light bends. Um, it is just an LED here and here. So for that reason, you can see why this thing is cheap, in short. Um, but you know what, I, I don't mind it at all. I think it's quaint, um, and I think it's a really nice effect for the desk setup that I'm going for here. I've got a lot, my, my whole shtick here is sort of dots of light. That is my theme. So as you can see, you know, I've got dots of white on my keyboard. I've got a ring of white around my mat. And my key, my computer itself is filled with dots of, of white light as well. And I quite like that aesthetic. So let's look at what other colors it can do. So at the moment it's on white. And if I press it once, we go to the top of the cycle colors. So now it's doing a two color cycle. So it shoots one color out this side and one color out this side. And the two meet somewhere in the bottom right of the map. Um, and this is quite a nice effect. The box implies that it would do a rainbow spectrum. It can't do that. And this is where the false advertising comes in. You know, this thing is not, uh, this thing will not do spectrum wave. This is the best it's got. 
And I was a little bit sad about that. I was kind of expecting it to have a, like an LED, at least an LED in each corner or something like that, but it doesn't have that at all. But it does surprisingly well for having only two LEDs in it. I was quite impressed. So there's the there's the two there's the two color spectrum, which is quite soft and subtle. And if I bend one edge here, let's just see if I can show you the effect here. You can see where it gets brighter where I bend it. So that's some um, theoretically, if you were to rough up the edge of the light pipe a bit, you would get a bit more light come out. However, it's got a, a clear, it has a, a, a clear wrap that's binding that to the edge. So you can't rough it up. It's got a, a thread around it or something. But yeah, let's go through the other thing. So we've got that. Then we've got, uh, that is just single color cycle. So single color set, single seven color cycle. There's the two color flash cycle. Then here's a neat effect. It's a two color flash, but it pulses from one to the other and it gives the illusion of a, 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 a wave going around it. It's a very strange effect that may or may not show up on camera but it actually looks very impressive in real life. Again, it's it's not as good as a as a proper with lights all the way around it thing, but considering it's doing this with just two LEDs, I think it looks pretty good. So there's that. And then I think we're on to, yeah, so that's just a uh, seven color flash, single. And then we've got a uh, breathing cycle, I think. Yeah, breathing cycle, two color breathing cycle. And now we're onto just solid colors. And now we've got red, blue, green, uh, pink or purple or lilac, uh, cyan, uh, yellow, and then we're back to white. And that's it, that's what it does. The surface feels really good. My mouse glides on this thing like nothing else on earth. You know, you give it a nudge and it just coasts across the mouse mat. Feels really good to game on, I like it a lot. Um, and again, that squidge that I, that, I, that I implied at the beginning of the video is just super comfortable. Just all in all, this is a really comfy mouse mat. And although it's not nearly as good as it made itself out to be when I purchased it, and compared to a really expensive one that'll have LEDs all the way around it, it's kind of cheap. But I really like it, and I'm happy I bought it. So hope you guys found that kind of interesting. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.